uh, electrically underneath the sink until the, the actual hot water shows up. And the third way to do it, which has become a part of code now, is you can put a small recirculating pump at the point of use underneath the sink in the vanity. Okay, so the recirculating <laughs> pump bleeds water off the hot water line and pushes uh, it into the cold line. It has to be activated by a switch or motion sensor when you walk into the bathroom. Uh, and it's going to take about a minute to do its job. But while you're waiting, it will bring the hot water there and you won't be wasting the cold water. Those are actually code requirements now for any uh, faucet uh, or source of water that is more than 50 linear pipe feet away from the water heater in a new build. So there you go. Hot water heater uh, uh, that is tankless, continuous hot water, not instant hot water. All right. Uh, are we going to take some calls when we come back? Yes, we are. We will take your calls when we return. You're home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. Let's hear the news. I'm Brian Bruman, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. LA County Sheriff Vinueva says the county's vaccine mandate will lead to slower response times, slower homicide investigations, and the potential closure of stations. Vinueva sent a letter to the Board of Supervisors telling them he's close to losing 20 to 30 percent of his workforce. The sheriff says the mandate has led to unscheduled retirements, workers' comp claims, and employees quitting. Health experts are encouraging families to follow COVID-19 safety guidelines to keep kids safe this Halloween. Staying in smaller groups is always going to be best, um, you know, making sure that if you are in larger groups or, or, or um, uh, inside that you're wearing, wearing masks and taking other precautions as, as appropriate. Dr. Lee Savio Bears with the American Academy of Pediatrics says parents should also remember to watch out for traffic, supervise kids as they trick or treat and other regular Halloween safety measures. Doctors are concerned about COVID during the winter season. Centura Health Doctor Stephen Cobb says respiratory illnesses go up normally during the winter. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of respiratory season that we have this year. We've shown as a community that if we do certain things like social distancing and masking and, and good copious hand washing, we can almost eliminate respiratory season. So it's a, a lot's going to depend on our behavior. He says it's important, more important than ever this year for people to get a flu shot. And Halloween weekend is here, and people are being honest about their deepest fears. The website fearof.net says that around 15 to 20 percent of people experience specific phobias at least once in their lifetime. Drowning, I don't know, just the fact that being underwater, your lungs going into flames. The spiders, and they're nasty, and they're scary. <laughs> so what causes fear? It's the part of the brain called the amygdala. Studies have found that the amygdala regulates the fear response in humans, which could range from a number of things, including large animals. Probably a bear. I mean, if I can face to face with a bear, like, I'd be dead. Andrew Caravella, KFI News. There's some road work going on on the 10. In Pomona, the westbound, uh, making, uh, on the 10 westbound out of Ontario, the westbound between Haven and 4th Street, 4 right lane, shut down all weekend long until around 5 o'clock Monday morning, and your banks are starting at Millican because of that. There's also Caltrain work in Fonkin on the northbound 15, Twin Sierra Avenue, and the 215 to right lane is coming off until around 10 o'clock this morning. And Laguna Hills, they've been working on clearing this crash on the 5, stop and making progress before Alicia Parkway there. Everything over to the right side now, and you are seeing delays still really heavy from Lake Forest Drive. Hey, if I in the sky helps get you there faster, I'm Robert Bucky. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Let me tell you what 21st century home energy looks like. It's a home which produces its own net zero solar energy with backup battery systems, electric vehicle charging, all integrated into one smart system. In fact, it looks exactly like the total solar home energy solution by Sunlux. Sunlux has always set the bar for home energy solutions. From boldly offering the most comprehensive warranty in the industry, five-star service, and partnerships with other cutting-edge industry leaders like Tesla and LG. What does it all mean for you? It means when you partner with Sunlux, you get true energy independence and, hands down, the best value in solar anywhere. It's 2021. Time to dump the electric bill for good and bring your home into the 21st century with Sunlux. Do it today. A total smart home solution is just a click away at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com. CSLB 100 8374.
South high weather from KFI. Sunny skies by this afternoon. Mid 60s to low 70s at the beaches. Mid 60s to mid 70s in Metro LA and OC. Partly cloudy in the inland valleys. Highs in the mid 70s to low 80s. Upper 70s to low 80s in the Inland Empire. We lead local live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Brian Baruch. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. Hi, I'm Age yeah. Magazine best selling author Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my brand new book, Wealth Beyond Wall Street, because we all know another market crash could be right around the corner. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough, and since then I discovered a way to grow money potentially double digits, reduce taxes dramatically, and also have my money protected when the next stock market crash hits. When the next market crash hits, you lose nothing. Call Wealth Beyond Wall Street now to get your free copy and talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to get potential double-digit growth during good years and never lose when the next stock market crash hits, all while building a tax-advantaged retirement. Call 800-908-1616 to discover this asset that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney use to grow wealthy. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling, no credit card required. Call 800-908-1616. That's 800-908-1616. 1-800-908-1616. Do you want out of your house for whatever reason? Maybe you're moving or downsizing, there are financial issues, maybe you inherited it. Selling a home usually means hours of painting and cleaning and staging. But what if you could sell your home for a fair price without any of that hassle? The buyer never had to walk through your home. You could sell it without an appraisal, no commission, no fees. What if you could get paid in cash and get it done fast, like in 10 days or less? This is exactly what directbuyers.com will do. Directbuyers.com is a local family-owned business. They've been around since the mid-80s. We've talked with the owners, Janet and Matt, wonderful people. They care about their clients. You don't want to go to a national call center. These are the people we trust. Do not sell your home until you talk to directbuyers.com. See what they can offer you. They will give you an honest, no-obligation offer. They can even get you $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with your move. They're not going to lowball you. Go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com, 844-242-SELL. That's 844-242-SELL, directbuyers.com. Go solar with local and veteran-owned Zipper Solaris. Visit ZipperSolaris.com. It's Halloween. If you even touch a Ouija board, it's on you. AM640. More stimulating talk. for joining us on the program this morning. It's always a privilege to be here to get your Saturday morning started right with uh, in information, inspiration, and, uh, you know, just a friendly voice. We could all use a friendly voice to start our day. That's why I hang out with Tina. Speaking of Tina, she's been asking me questions all throughout the show today uh, from her list of uh, most common listener questions, the, the ones that are just pervasive, that just keep coming back again and again and again. So, uh, all right, dig deep. Uh, we've got time for maybe one or two more, so uh, fire away. So we actually uh, got a question on Twitter from Tom about, you know, having, do you have any tips for selecting a ceiling fan? And it just so happens one of the questions that we had on our list was, does a fan actually cool the room? So I thought maybe you could tackle both of those. Okay, so tips on the ceiling fan and does a fan cool the room? Okay. Okay. So, number one, tips on selecting a ceiling fan. Uh, get a good one. <laughs> no, no. What I mean by this is, okay. Alright. I'm kind of famously not a fan of ceiling fans in the sense that I think they get overused. Lots of people put in ceiling fans all day. I, I get it, you know, it saves on air conditioning, and that's true. Um, I definitely don't like ceiling fans that have the additional light kit hanging underneath them. Uh, and my main issue with ceiling fans, I'm not against them at all. I love them. But uh, I, I, I don't like uh, 
in a normal house, uh, an average track house with an eight-foot ceiling, I, I tend not to like, from a design perspective, anything else hanging down any lower than eight feet uh, in a ceiling like that. And a ceiling fan just kind of makes the ceiling even shorter than it already is. Okay, but that being uh, a given, we are living, whether you know this or not, I don't think I've ever said this on the air, we are living in the golden age of ceiling fans. I mean this. Uh, Ten years ago, ceiling fans, by and large, there may be one, maybe two manufacturers out there making decent ones. Everything else that you would find at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or where, you know, wherever, uh, just kind of like, wow, all right, design-wise, just ugly as sin, and, uh, and you have to assemble it yourself, and then the, the fins, the veins on a ceiling fan, if they deviate even the slightest bit, they cause wobble, and then there's the balance, you know, balancing kits and wobbling ceiling fans. It's a disaster! But we have entered into a new age of ceiling fans. There are many manufacturers out there now building their fans differently, and we're talking about not like five-blade fans, but three- and two-blade fans, uh, and sometimes ten-blade fans, perfectly balanced, very, very sexy, work like a charm, get the job done, and uh, and look super attractive, too. So uh, when I say get a good one, I'm saying move beyond the old-style fan. Look for an, what we call an integrated blade fan, where the blade isn't just bolted onto an armature, but it really it bends and twists and integrates into the very hub of the ceiling fan. You'll know what I'm talking about when you look at it. Now... As far as the scientific question about whether a fan cools a room, that's a really, really good question. The answer to that question is no. A fan does not cool a room. A fan simply moves air around. And if there's 85 degree air inside a room, a fan simply moves that 85 degree air around and swirls it around. And now you have 85 degree air that's moving in the room. What cools, what a fan cools is you. A fan cools you as a human being because we cool our bodies via the evaporative principle of our perspiration. So uh, moisture builds up on our skin, and as air moves across our skin, it causes evaporation, that cooling process. Anytime there is air movement in inside or outside, like we get the weather report, right, during the winter. It's like, well, it's 62 degrees outside, but with that 15-mile-an-hour wind that's blowing, it feels like 57. The, uh, the air chill factor, the wind chill factor, that's the reality. So, yeah, when there's a fan on in a room, make sure the fan is blowing on you or make sure it's moving the air in the room so well that you can detect the air movement in the room. Not the same with an air conditioner. We try to design AC systems so that you don't feel air blowing on you, but AC systems are actually lowering the air temperature in the room, so they don't have to blow on you. But a fan does. It needs to blow on you. When it blows across the surface of your skin, that surface moisture will evaporate, and there is a cooling principle that will take place. So, no a ceiling fan does not cool a room. It doesn't heat a room up either. It is simply uh, what it is. But you get a ceiling fan that's recirculating air properly, it will, in fact, cool you. Okay? Does that make sense? Also, by the way, FYI, during the winter, you can save on heating costs because a ceiling fan will help heat a room. Again, it does not change the temperature of the air, but all ceiling fans have a reverse switch on them. So you flip the switch so that it spins in the opposite direction. Instead of blowing down during the winter, you switch it so that it blows up against the ceiling. What does that do? Well, the heater that's heating your house is pumping in warm air. That warm air rises and collects up against the ceiling where you don't need it. You want it down where you are. So a ceiling fan in a room during the winter that is blowing up against the ceiling because you've reversed this direction will blow that hot air that's accumulated up there back down and let it recirculate through the room. So the whole room will feel more 
uniformly warm if a ceiling fan is uh, recirculating the air, even during the winter. There you go. You know what, that's a good one to uh, wrap up on. Thanks again for spending the morning with me. It has been a privilege as all. Whatever the plan is for this... I'm Brian Bruman, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A group of undocumented immigrants are making a 12-mile march across L.A. today, demonstrating for respect from state and national leaders. Three people have died in a crash in South Carolina after a train collided with a car. A fourth person survived, and they're in the hospital. And former President Trump has sued to prevent documents related to the Capitol riot from being sent to a House committee investigating the attack. And we've got a look at some trouble on the 110. Next. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Are you looking for new kitchen cabinets? Do you know that for over 50 years there has been no better place in all of Southern California to get new kitchen cabinets than the kitchen store? And there's no better time to visit the kitchen store than right now. That's because in celebration of the new year, everything in their huge 7,000 square foot showroom is on sale. All the finest brands, every cutting edge accessory on sale. With the kitchen store, you get the best of all worlds, a full concierge experience, private COVID-safe consultations with experienced kitchen designers, state-of-the-art computer design, 12 months same as cash financing, and pricing that beats the big box home centers. And right now, everything is on sale. So set up your free kitchen store consult today by dialing 310-KITCHEN. That's 310-KITCHEN. And check out the kitchen store on the web at 310kitchen.com. Lowe's November event is back, and they're thanking pros like you all month long with top values on programs like Dewalt and Spider online or in stores through November 24th. Lowe's, the new home for pros, U.S. only. SoCal weather from KFI, partly cloudy this afternoon in the Inland Valleys, highs in the mid-70s to low 80s. This report brought to you by Lowe's. And there's some police activity on the 110. South LA, up north, down down to the 110. Before Manchester, all lanes temporarily stopped here for police activity. They're saying this should not be a long-term closure, but really heavy drive. You end up starting around the 105. Caltrans working in Fontana, north down down to the 15. Sierra Avenue to the 215. It's two right lanes coming down to the right. 10 o'clock this morning. And a weekend-long closure in Ontario, westbound side of the 10, Haven to 4th Street, four right lanes out of commission until Monday morning. Back up right now for Milton, KFI in the sky. Help get there faster. On Robert Tabucky. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. During Lowe's Pro Member events, new members of their Pro Loyalty program get a welcome kit via mail. And every member gets a chance to win amazing prizes. Pro Member, now to November 24th. Lowe's, the new home for pros. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Let me tell you what 21st century home energy looks like. It's a home which produces its own net zero solar energy with backup battery systems, electric vehicle charging, all integrated into one smart system. In fact, it looks exactly like the total solar home energy solution by Sunlux. Sunlux has always set the bar for home energy solutions. From boldly offering the most comprehensive warranty in the industry, five-star service, and partnerships with other cutting-edge industry leaders like Tesla and LG. What does it all mean for you? It means when you partner with Sunlux, you get true energy independence and, hands down, the best value in solar anywhere. It's 2021. Time to dump the electric bill for good and bring your home into the 21st century with Sunlux. Do it today. A total smart home solution is just a click away at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com. CSLV 1008374. Whether you're vaccinated or not, it's important to know the symptoms of COVID and its variants. Fever is the leading sign of COVID and the flu. So make sure you use an accurate thermometer. Only the Exergen Temporal Scanner thermometer has been proven accurate with more than 100 clinical studies. Non-contact thermometers have no clinical evidence behind them, and you cannot rely on them. Be vigilant and seek medical advice at the first sign of fever. Learn more at exergen.com. Here's a fact. COVID hospitalizations of young people have tripled since the start of summer. Also a fact. Vaccines 
are highly effective in preventing hospitalizations and deaths, even from the Delta variant. If you've got questions about COVID vaccines, talk to a doctor, because our kids are irreplaceable. We can do this. Find vaccines near you at vaccines.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Angie's List is now Andy, and getting your to-do list done just got easier. Between back to school and with the holidays around the corner, it can feel like there's no time to tackle home projects. Whether you need help with emergency repairs or major upgrades, Angie matches you with top local pros who can get the job done right. Browse reviews, see upfront pricing, and instantly book hundreds of projects. Save time for what matters most. Book your next project at Angie.com. That's A-N-D-I dot com. Wealth is about more than making money. It's about making the most of life's possibilities. At Edelman Financial Engines, we believe that's key to taking your wealth potential to the next level. That's why we model over 38,000 investments across 17 asset classes monthly so your strategy is current and focused on the goals ahead. That's why we don't use cookie-cutter strategies, but a comprehensive, tax-smart, cost-effective, and personalized approach to wealth planning. That's why our advice is powered by a sophisticated investment management approach that's been awarded 12 U.S. patents. And that's why our experts help coordinate every facet of your financial life. Wealth planning, investment management, estate planning, insurance, and more. For more ways to take your wealth potential to a new level, call Edelman Financial Engine and schedule a free, no-obligation meeting with an advisor today. Reach us at 833-PLAN-EFE or visit planefe.com. Prescription products require an online consultation. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Think you might have ED? Not sure? Well, we'd like to let you in on a little secret. ED is common. About 40% of men experience ED by age 40. But the solution is simple. Find it at 4 I didn't have to talk to a doctor in person. There was no copay. And the medication was shipped right to my door in discreet packages. Hims took care of it. Fast and easy. Now our love life is better than ever. Get access to doctors online who can prescribe you FDA-approved ED medication if appropriate. The same active ingredient as name brands but 90% cheaper. Skip the waiting rooms and pharmacy lines. Get a free medical consultation and rise to the occasion or your money back. Go to forhimscom slash joy to get your first visit free. No copay required. The only way to get this special offer is to go to forhimscom slash joy. F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it'd be too difficult or take too much time? Then try Babbel. Whether you want to learn Spanish for future travel plans, French to connect with extended family, or maybe German to land a new job, Babbel works because it's built around real life. It teaches you everyday practical conversations that you'll actually use. All you need is 15 minutes a day, and you'll be on your way to confidently speaking a new language in just a few weeks. Babbel is designed by real language experts using a modern conversation-based technique that makes learning fun, engaging, and best of all, memorable. It starts by teaching you words and phrases. Then sentences gradually get more complex. Soon you're practicing short conversations about real-life topics. And with 14 languages to choose from and lesson topics like travel, business, relationships, and more, you'll be sure to learn what matters most to you. Babbel, language for life. Learn a new language with ease. Go to babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Here's a fact. Covid hospitalizations of young people have tripled since the start of summer. Also a fact. Vaccines are highly effective in preventing hospitalizations and deaths, even from the Delta variant. If you've got questions about covered vaccines, Talk to a doctor, because our kids are irreplaceable. We can do this. Find vaccines near you at vaccines.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. Hi, I'm Inc. Magazine best-selling author Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my brand new book, Wealth Beyond Wall Street, because we all know another market crash could be right around the corner. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough, and since then I discovered a way to grow money potentially double digits, reduce taxes dramatically, and also have my money protected when the next stock market crash hits. When the next market crash hits, you lose nothing. Call Wealth Beyond Wall Street now to get your free copy and and talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to get potential double-digit growth during good years 
and never lose when the next stock market crash hits, all while building a tax advantage retirement. Call 800-908-1616 to discover this asset that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney use to grow wealthy. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling, no credit card required. Call 800-908-1616. That's 800-908-1616. 1-800-908-1616. Okay. And so my wife's like, well, do we match the ceramic tile? And I'm like, well, 
the, the people that installed it with the price is going to be like 30 grand to do it. So I don't think the wood floor is right. going to replace that. Yeah, so, um, you know, you, you, the insurance is going to pay for, and should pay, pay out for the replacement of what you've got. So if it's hardwood, they should write you a check equivalent to redoing it all in replacing the hardwood. If you want to move up to the ceramic tile from a design perspective, that kind of, uh, you know, kills two birds with one stone uh, in that yeah. uh, a ceramic plank floor is going to be bomb-proof throughout the whole house and continuous flooring so that there's no change in between the house proper and, uh, and the bathroom. But, again, that isn't a necessity. So, yeah, it, if you put in luxury vinyl plank, that's what we're talking about. If you put in luxury vinyl plank, yeah, it is now... Uh, waterproof and bombproof throughout the whole house, and if there was another accident, um, then uh, then the, it's not going to ruin a luxury vinyl plank floor. However, luxury vinyl plank is not the same as real hardwood. It is an emulation of hardwood. It 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 it's really good looking stuff. It's also way cheaper than hardwood. So I think you guys just have to sit down and make a decision of uh, both financially and design-wise which way you want to go uh, with this. Uh, I can't really push you one direction or the other because there's no right answer to it. The fact of the matter is uh, if we were always afraid that a pipe would burst uh, in any house, we'd never put hardwood in any house ever, right? Because it's moisture sensitive. And there's just no way around that right now. We don't have the technology to get around that right now. So, uh, you know what? That's a good one to uh, wrap up on. Thanks again for spending the morning with me. It has been a privilege as always. Handle on the Law is up next. I'll be back tomorrow from 9 to 11. Whatever the plan is for this beautiful day, get out there and build yourself a beautiful life. <laughs> I've seen a lot of weird stuff cleaning up the radio station at night. Like this one time I found a creepy doll, threw it in the dumpster, and then next corner I turned, there it is. I don't know, I think it was just lonely. I took it home. KSI. KOST AC2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Iron Radio app. Nowhere to go. I'm Brian Broomin, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Lawyers for a soup kitchen that's facing eviction say the city of Orange is pushing the needs of 300 homeless people off onto other cities. The decades-old Mary's Kitchen sued the city for more time to find a new home. Lawyer Brooke Weitzman says homeless people in OC are dying in record numbers. It's been an increasing expanding and supporting its one and only existing service at no cost to its taxpayers. The city of Orange is taking every step possible, in fact, spending a significant amount of money to shut down the service. Orange cited criminal activity as one reason for the eviction. The city says it will offer food and services for a set time after the kitchen closes. The final decision could be up to a judge. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. The LAPD is warning parents to watch out for street racing this Halloween. Officer Brian Wendling says the holiday falls on a Sunday this year, so parents should be extra cautious. They call it Sunday Funday in, that, in the street racing community. And it's not fun for anybody outside of the street racing community. It's very dangerous. Wendling says it's also dangerous when police show up because racers often take off in every direction. He says illegal street racing has been on the rise across the entire SoCal region. And the LAPD says 30% of all violent crimes in the city have happened in South L.A. We started off 2021 very horribly. Violent crime was in the first couple of months was at a level not seen since the 1990s. Commander Lou Paliolonga says year-to-date there have been 314 homicides in L.A., 128 of which were in the South Bureau area. That area is considered everything south of the 10 freeway. Shippers could be fined millions per day for leaving containers sitting around the Port of L.A. By no means am I intending this amendment to generate revenue for the Port of Los Angeles. The purpose here is to drive behavioral change, get the cargo off the terminals, and move empties through, move the exports through. Port of LA Executive Director Gene Soroka says starting Monday, shippers will be charged 100 bucks per day for each truck-bound container waiting to be picked up more than nine days. And that fee increases $100 every day. 
Soroka estimates the fee applies to 40% of the containers there. G20 summit officials are endorsing President Biden's global tax proposal. Earlier today, world leaders from 20 countries with the largest economies signed off on Biden's call for a 15% global minimum tax on corporations. Italy's Prime Minister Mario Draghi says the agreement will lead to a fairer and more effective international tax system. The proposed minimum tax will be charged to multinational corporations that will pay taxes in countries where the companies conduct business. Some former NFL players have organized a community job fair in South L.A. They say the unemployment rate in South L.A. is nearly double the national average, yet small businesses are still struggling to fill vacancies. The job fair will run today from 11 to 1 at Global Prosthetics on Florence Avenue. The nation's largest guaranteed income pilot program is starting to accept applications. The Big Leap program will provide $1,000 in cash to 3,200 households. To be eligible for the program, applicants must live in L.A. and live at or below the poverty level. They must also have a dependent child or be pregnant and have had a financial or medical problem related to COVID-19. And people in L.A. are being encouraged to foster and adopt animals because shelters in the city are near capacity. L.A. Animal Services says its six locations are full of dogs and cats that are spayed and neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, and ready for adoption. And officials say people planning to give up their pets at shelters should try to find an alternative option. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. There's a crash in South Pasadena on the 110. That heading stops down just before pa uh, York Boulevard. It looks like it's actually been moved out of the left lane now. Traffic is recovering, but you'll still come across a little bit of flowing passing orange growth. Ontario on the 10 westbound in between Haven Avenue and 4th Street. The work zone there has the three right lanes close off until 5 a.m. Monday. You'll see delays right now from about Milligan Avenue. And in Marino Valley on the 215 northbound at the 60, a work zone has the connection to the 60 eastbound closed off until 4 p.m. Currently seeing some delays from eucalyptus. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Pedro Moreno. <laughs> Today on Newsmakers, we're talking with Catherine Schultz, Vice President, Tax and Fiscal Policy for the Business Roundtable. So, Catherine, there's a ton of noise in Washington right now about raising taxes on businesses. Why should our listeners care? 20 to 70 percent of the corporate tax burden is borne by workers through lower wages and reduced job opportunities, according to estimates by both government and academic economists and shareholders, who include a majority of Americans, including seniors, who have retirement accounts, pensions, or other investments to see stock values decline due to lower future cash flows. As we're starting to recover from the pandemic, would raising taxes on businesses impact America's economic trajectory? While the economy has made tremendous progress since the depths of the pandemic, it remains on side of the ground, and everyone is not coming out of the pandemic equally. Congress should be helping to the <laughs> business to invest in workers, innovation, and operations to strengthen the economy and keep America ahead of our Chinese and European competitors. If hardworking taxpayers were to reach out to their congressman or senator, what would you want them to say? No tax increases. Elected officials should hear directly from their constituents that tax increases on job creators will move America backwards, resulting in...